Okay, hello. What we're doing today is we're going to take this folder which has a hot potatoes quiz inside it along with the associated image files. We're going to zip that folder so that we can upload it to Moodle. We have to make sure that all the associated image files are in there because the hot potatoes quiz itself, this file with the .htm, it simply links to these images. The, the images are not embedded into the quiz file, so if we don't upload the images as well, when the learner actually does the quiz, the images won't be there. Okay, if we're happy that all the files are in the folder, we need to zip that folder. And that is done simply by right-clicking with your mouse and sending the folder to become a compressed zipped folder. It's a fairly straightforward thing. You just click the button and it will immediately create this second zipped folder. It has the, the, the word dot .zip at the end and a little picture of the zip just to let you know that that is the zipped folder. What we have to do now is we have to uh, open up a Moodle page. We've got one here. We've got a using Hot Potatoes Moodle course and we're ready to put an example of a quiz in here. So we select add an activity and from the drop down list, let's just move that off the screen a little bit so you can see it, add an activity, we select hot potato or hot pot. When it pops open, we can then fill in a, a name for our quiz, so we'll call it um, matching exercise. And then what we have to do is add that zipped folder that we've just created. So we, we click this add button and we go to browse and we find that zipped folder which is here, Capitals Quiz. We open it and we upload the file. Now it's done that very quickly. So that was a case of clicking add and finding the zipped folder. You now have a little icon next to that file name, that zipped file name. If we give it a click we can unzip all of these files so that Moodle can see each individual file and they are now in this little unzipped folder which I can open and we'll find in there all the image files, the actual quiz file that the students will see, the .htm and the original master file which in fact doesn't need to be here so you could click its little icon and delete it okay? because that just leaves you with the quiz itself and the image files that were used within the quiz. The last thing you have to do for the file with the letters .htm, you have to click the little icon on the end of it and tell Moodle that this is the main file. This is the file that should run when you want the quiz to work. It will then open up this file for the students and it will be able to link to the images that are used within the quiz. So we'll just do that. It makes it bold. So that was clicking its little icon and it's not there now but choosing set as main file. You can set any of them as the main file but it has to be the .htm one that you do otherwise the quiz won't work. So be careful that you're clicking on the right icon. If we save that, so we'll just scroll right down to the bottom, go back to the course, what we'll find is that we can now in student view we'll see we have a matching exercise they'll see that it's a hot potato quiz because it puts the little icon in and when they click it should open up that quiz for them in the window and it has done it's a little bit reduced here because we're on a smaller screen but there is their drag and drop exercise ready for them to do and that's how you zip a folder for a hot potatoes quiz and upload it to Moodle